Washington. I'm Gary Harris. Well, Tommy Wilcox was a two-time All-American while playing safety at Alabama for Coach Paul Bear Bryant. But his passion away from the football field led to a post-playing career in outdoors television. Here's Stu McCann with tonight's Outside the Huddle feature presented by Premier Service Company. Tommy Wilcox wanted to be on TV. If you went to an Alabama, Notre Dame, USC, something like that, you were going to be on national television, one of the big three networks, at least three times a year. That carried nearly as much weight as the promised championship opportunity when he was recruited out of Harahan, Louisiana in 1977 and during his re-recruitment one year later. My freshman year, I came up here, I got redshirted, so I was on the scout team. And believe me, that's not fun. When, you, when you're the, the opposing quarterback against the number one defense in the country, and all those All-Americans that were on that 78 defense, it's not gonna be fun. I think about that a lot still to this day, where I would be at today if Coach Bryant didn't think enough about me to leave practice that day get in the school plane and fly down to get me. His homesickness gave way to his new home. By giving the University of Alabama a second chance, he fell in love with West Alabama. When, when I grew up in Louisiana, South Louisiana, they didn't have uh, deer or turkey. We All we grew up on was rabbit, squirrel, no quail. We've never hunted deer or turkey in my life until I came up here to the university. And uh, I just got to love it so much. For the past 21 years, Tommy Wilcox Outdoor Show has aired on WVUA 23. The premise is simple, following the structure of the classic series, American Sportsman. They started this thing, well, hey, let's get these athletes out in the woods and on the water, and let's do one-on-one -on -one interviews with him and let's get Ted Williams out there and let's take him fly fishing or let's take this guy elk hunting or whatever. And then they would talk about football, their life, their families. Some athletes transition to coaching after they're done playing. The thing that takes Wilcox back to football appears to be the furthest thing from the field. God, that was quick. Thank you, brother. I love you. Thank you. It's a sport that you can kind of communicate with the turkey. I know this sounds crazy, but you call, they answer, you emulate the, the, the female turkey, the gobblers talk to you and you talk back to them. We've done segments where all he does is sit there and call. And he's trying to show people the calls, but also show them Here's how it's supposed to sound. Tommy Wilcox Outdoors became well known for two things above all else. It's celebrity guests. You know, over two decades, it's got to be over a hundred. I know when you factor in the, the country music stars and the sports aspect, the coaches, the former players, um, it's a lot, you know, and he's, he's probably had just about every former teammate that he ever played with, with Bear Bryant on the show at some point in time. The show's other calling card became its signature sign-off. Y'all come get you some. Y'all come get you some of these. Come get you some. Come see Jan. <laughs> Along the way, Wilcox discovered something that he wants his show to be known for that is better than words. He found a way to give back and help those that are disadvantaged through his 4th and 40 program. It's like in football, man. It's hard to make a fourth down in 40. It's hard. It's tough. I mean, it, the odds are single digits. But what these kids face every day when they get up is a fourth and 40 because some of them can't walk. Some of them have, don't have use of the hands, arms. Some uh, are blind. Some have cancer and have two months to live. In the everyday life, these people would never, ever be able to get out into the woods to do 
what we're doing to hunt the fish. They wouldn't be able to do it. They've developed so many tools and things through Fourth and Forty and through different sponsorships to be able to provide the tools required to let people who normally would never have an opportunity to get in the woods, get in the woods and kill that turkey, kill that deer. If you can just get somebody out there to hunt or to fish, a lot of people end up liking it because it's so unique and there's a lot of fun. Uh, just being able to talk to people, the camaraderie, when you put all that together, a lot of people like it. But you gotta get them out there to do it first before they can realize they like it. Tommy Wilcox began his outdoor show taking aim at sports stars, looking to recreate a piece of childhood magic. Over two decades, some of the focus has changed, but it's still about creating magic. What'd you think about that, Colt? Yeah. I'm with Colt. Wow, that's good stuff. Tommy Wilcox, I've known him a long time. What a great guy. Great job, Stu.